John earns 4,000 Rand during his first month and then his earnings increase by 5% of the previous month thereafter. So what that means is that in, um, let's say, month one, he earns 4,000. Then in month two, you have to add 5%. So you first work out what 5%, I mean, there's different ways of doing this, but you could work out 5% of 4,000 then add that on so then he earns 4,200 but now he's going to earn an extra 5% in month 3 of 4,200 and that's 210 Rand so you add it on and so he earns 4,410 uh, 4, now those first three terms are enough to tell us whether we have an arithmetic or a geometric for it to be a geometric term 2 divided by term 1 would have to be the same as term 3 divided by term 2. But we need to see if that is true. We can't say it's true. So let's check. We can say 4,200 over 4,000. And that's going to give us 1.05. Now we need to check term 3 divided by term 2, which will be 4410 divided by 4,200. And that's also 1.05. So it is geometric. They said, determine how much John will earn in month 10. Guys, are they asking us how much he's going to earn in month 10? Or do they mean how much is he going to earn in total over 10 months? Well, well done if you realize that they want to know only for month 10. So we are not going to use the sum formula because that would add up month 1, month 2, month 3, all the way up to month 10. We're rather going to use the term formula of a geometric because we're only looking for a specific term. So we're looking for term 10. Now A is 4,000. The ratio is 1.05. And then N is 10 minus 1. So then you can go type all of that in. And that's going to be 6,205 Rand and 31 cents.